Alright, it's been a couple of weeks and I haven't made a video in a little while, so I think it's about time that I get something out for you. And I do have something pretty interesting in regards to Minecraft stuff. It doesn't revolve around ships, as you clearly already know, because the title of the video and the thumbnail basically gives it away already. But, um, long story short, as the title would say, I've actually been re-inspired to revisit the Snowpiercer franchise and make another Snowpiercer project. Now, so, real quick, some news about the Snowpiercer franchise. I don't know if most of you have seen that um, TNT is making a TV series about it. And based on what I can collect, the TV series is supposed to follow a lot more closer to the original novel or books. And apparently there's three books. And it's because of what was said in the third book as to what inspired this train model that you see here in front of you. Because as the title of the video if I type it out correctly, or what I decided to name it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be called something like Snowpiercer Train Minecraft, but it's actually the Icebreaker. What that means is that this train is not the Snowpiercer, as you could already tell, because it doesn't look like it. It's gray, it's not white, it seems to be a lot more bigger and edgier. And, considering the fact that I say it's the Icebreaker, that is what this train is called. This is the Icebreaker variant of the uh, Wilford trains because um after re uh tweet uh sh not tweaking <laughs> shit after um reading up on some of the novels it it is said that in the third uh yeah the third installment to the series is that the the story jumps from the snowpiercer train to an entirely different train running at the same time which is this one the icebreaker and it is actually said in the, o the overall sci-fi universe of the Snowpiercer franchise is that there is actually ten different trains, all running at the same time uh, in the uh, Snowpiercer universe. So, what's, uh, so that's basically the overall kicker, or, yeah, kicker. The overall kicker that sparked off this little project here, and kind of ultimately what inspired me to make this was because on top of the introduction of the TV series, I read up on the novels and was amazed to find out that there was more than one train. So I decided to build the icebreaker. So talking more about the uh, the project in a personal sense, um, yes, just by standing next to it, this train is significantly larger than my original or previous Snowpiercer train design. And Upon discovering how big these trains are in the novels, and also compared to what it looks like, what it's going to be in the TV series, these trains by default were, I think, double or triple deck carriages all the way through. And if I do uh, remember correctly, I may, be, I may be stood correct on this one, but it seems like in the novel, if I remember reading correctly, is that the tracks are damn near 15 feet apart. Which, you know, this is probably bigger because, you know, Minecraft with blocks, but... Yeah, <laughs> so these trains are actually monstrously huge. You know, it would kind of make sense considering that these trains are supposed to uh, hold, you know, like two to three thousand people. Or, yeah, the survivors of humanity alone in, in a train, but... <laughs> so that explains why this train is so huge and is clearly bigger than just any standard locomotive. Because, let's see, just for the sake of scale comparison, walking alongside it, you know, this is like the whole wedge plow that dice for the snow and clears out the tracks. Standing down here, this is like some awkward machinery on the side of it. Now, these are the wheels. Now, I don't have the detail, or the interior detailed on this thing, though I do plan on getting to that at some point. I say at some point, but it seems like anymore, anytime I say that, that usually means I probably never will. But I actually am getting, like, a lot of inspiration from the uh, Snowpiercer franchise with the introduction of the TV series. So who knows, I'm, I'll, I plan on doing a lot more with this train. <laughs> so, yeah, these are the wheels. They're big. They got, like, the uh, the bogies, or the, I don't even know what the hell you'd call them, the axles, or... It's like a, for rail fans, it's like an 8-8 setup. You know, you got eight wheels up front, eight wheels in the back. Or it's actually four on each side, so you you count eight, eight. So it's it's a big, big locomotive. And the carriages are 3-3. Three, three. And I guess for a little bit of fun facts, for anybody who wants to know just how big this train is, one carriage is 110 blocks long. That's pretty big. 
And actually, you know what, let's take a little dip inside just to give you an overall aesthetic as to what the inside of this train looks like. So this is how much space I'm going to be working with on the inside of this train. And you can I got the uh, the floor layout. It's going to be double decker with a couple of offset levels and some of the other cars way down there. Now, I only have like 20 some cars built down that direction. I don't have the 1001 that these trains are supposed to have, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, let's see. I, I was getting ready to put together the observation platform with some of the engine controls. Oops. Maybe if I could fly and not triple span the X button. So, sitting up here, this would be like the observation port that allows you to see outside the train. Unlike the film, where it was completely encased, like you couldn't see out of it, and they had to have, like, cameras or something to see what's on the train. And a little interesting uh, fact that I found out about all these trains in the novels is that they do have communication with one another. Like, they they can talk to one another, radio communication, they can track each other, they have technology on board that allows them to uh, maintain, like, sensors on the tracks to see if, like, the railroad is getting damaged in certain areas or if an accident has occurred, so... These trains are actually pretty high-tech for, for what they're operating in being like a man-made ice age you know I, I would say like if you can find the novels or if you can look them up i would suggest reading them because you learn quite a lot about these trains and just the overall world in general and a, a lot of extra stuff outside the trains so for the most part that's kind of all i really got for this being the icebreaker model from the uh snowpiercer novels um yeah so, this is the Icebreaker, one of the Snowpiercer's big sisters. So, um, it's been a little while, I've got something made, and hopefully you kind of took some enjoyment out of this or thought it was pretty cool. So, um, I guess this about does it. So as the typical outro would go, you take care, have yourself a nice day, and I'll see you around. Kind of seems like my schedule anymore, it seems to be like one video per two or three weeks. I don't know. I've just been playing a lot of other games here recently. Alright.